Are you listening? Welcome to the Real and Real Pod. My name is David, and I am here with my co-host Marcy. Hi. <coughs> Hi. Have you ever seen a movie and wondered to yourself, what if this happened in real life? That's what this show is about. That's what we do. Yep. So Marcy, can you tell us what today's question is? Yes. Today's question is, what if everyone had a pet dragon based off of How to Train Your Dragon, the third one? This is Berk, son. It was the home of your grandparents and their grandparents before them. But out there, beyond the edge of the world, lies the home of the dragons. And I believe it's your destiny to one day find this hidden world. From DreamWorks Animation. (laughs) Comes a surprising tale about growing up, finding the courage to face the unknown and how nothing can ever train you to let go. What began as an unlikely friendship between an adolescent Viking and a fearsome Night Fury dragon has become an epic adventure spanning their lives. Welcome to the most astonishing chapter of one of the most beloved animated franchises in film history. How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. And I'm sure some noises come in the background. (laughs) (laughs) Now chief and ruler of Burke alongside Astrid, Hiccup has created a gloriously chaotic dragon utopia. When the sudden appearance of female light fury coincides with the darkest threat their village has ever faced, Hiccup and Toothless must leave the only home they've known and journey to a hidden world, thought only to exist in myths. As their true destinies are revealed, Dragon and Rider will fight together to the very ends of the earth to protect everything they've grown to treasure. For How to Train Your Dragon, the Hidden World, series director Dean Dublow, or Dublos, B-L-O-I-S, Dublow, Dublow, returns along to- No L, (laughs) Dublow. I didn't say S. Oh, no L. L. Yeah, no L, Dublow. But it's there. Yeah, it's French, Dublow. The blows <laughs> returns alongside the all-star cast. The film was produced by who cares anyway? <laughs> the was who cares? So do you want to the series? Do you want to see this movie? Yes. Yeah. I love this franchise. It is so cute. I love Toothless and all his stupid little antics. I also am interested in this movie. I like the first one a lot. I thought the ending was crazy, and I was like, <gasps> that surprised me. The remember. second ending was not as surprising. It was just like, eh, I feel like something's going to happen. And then it happened too quickly where you couldn't really um, uh, react quick enough. So it's like, eh, hmm, hey. But um, I don't remember the ending of the second one. I know I saw it. I just don't remember it. Somebody died. And then somebody else was oh, found. Oh. So I was like, eh, hmm, hey. I think I remember that. Okay, yeah. So and it was quick. So blank. this one I'm not super excited for. I'm just more like, oh, I enjoy this. So yeah, I'm going to go see it. Yay. That's how I feel. Anyway, moving on to the show, ladies first. What if everyone had a pet dragon? My say. My first point is that if everyone had a pet dragon, everything is fire retardant. Okay, cool. That makes sense because you don't want dragons burning up everything and melting them. I guess. Basically. So, like, as soon as our clothes like, fire retardant. Yes. Wouldn't that be considered murder? Well, your skin's not. You get burned. <laughs> I mean, if you have a full body suit on when you first meet the dragon, then yeah. No, I mean, fine. as in, if your dragon through fire another person. Oh, okay. mm, I don't know. Your dog ate my paper. Your dragon burned my wife. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, oh that'd be horrible. So, yeah, so. See, if I retard in things, um, I mean, hopefully you're not doing something mischievous to other people's dragons so that the dragons is like, I don't like, and like throws fire at you and like burns you to death. But. To death? But I have on fire retarding clothes. I said. I think that only goes so far, though, doesn't it? I mean, as soon as you know you're on fire, you're supposed to put it out. It wouldn't behoove you to just be like, huh. <laughs> and stand there. My leg is burning. Or be like, oh, I have a on fire retardant. Because oh! <laughs> I think all NASCAR drivers, It only lasted have, for five minutes. <laughs> 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 no one told me there was a limit on this. <laughs> I think all NASCAR drivers have to have fire retardant suits when yes. they drive. So theirs is still fire retardant, but even still, they feel the heat. Of course. So they're not getting burnt. So, they're just getting hot. Yeah. So, and they could get a heat stroke. Right. Because of their menopause. Could have what? <laughs> yes. 
I don't know where that came from. Yeah, that was so <laughs> random. I'm like, you're like, oh, yes, that's a very valid weight. Where'd you go with this? <laughs> that's exactly what happened. I'm wish, like, yes. I wish I had this type of thought process when I was in school. <laughs> so I did that to my teacher <laughs> all the time. I wish oh, I could. that would be amazing to be that kid. Oh, God. No, my teacher would hate me completely. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the answer is the pilgrims came over yes. with... With uh, with food to share, yes, and also dance, dance revolution. What? <laughs> like, did you? You like hey, don't call on don't call on David no more. Just nope, don't call on nope. David. The substitutes all over the class, all the new substitutes. Oh, they don't, don't know, know oh, you. Oh, Ooh, the, all the kids is gonna be like, and they'll be like David, and you'll be like, yes. So, I have the answer. <laughs> I have the answer, and all the kids are just like, oh, here we nope. go, here we go. That, that, that teacher made a bad mistake. <laughs> half the class is like, oh, what are you gonna say yes. now? The other half, which is the ones that are like. Ah, uh, he's talking again. Yes. See, I don't feel uh, when people say, "Ah, uh, I want to go back to my youth because I used to play around." No, I want to go back because I'm more clever now. I can go back and be more yes. annoying to yes. teachers and stuff. But uh, be nice to your teachers. They're, they're fun. Um, yes. All of the teachers are fun. Some teachers are blind, so don't have fun with them because they're blind. Yes. But anyway, yes. Uh, flame retardant, burning people alive. Yes. Burning men. Yes. Even though that's a music festival. Burning man. That's a song. Hallelujah! It's burning man. Uh, it's raining. No, they're burning. <laughs> they're dragons. <laughs> and this is about a scorned woman who hates men. Burning man. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm burning man. Amen. <laughs> He's miming a flamethrower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just like the lady. It's like the lady in holes who had just like this. Uh, What was it? The old lady in holes? No, 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 no. The lady in holes who was like kiss people. Like she'd give you the oh, kiss of the death. Oh, the poison. Yes. yes. No, not that one. The kiss of death. She had poison on her lipstick. No. I'm confused now. No. In holes, there was a lady who every like the uh, cop had asked her for a kiss and she killed him and then gave him a kiss. And the only time you get a kiss from her is if you, she killed you. Kissing Kate Barlow. Yeah, but I think. She didn't have. No, she didn't have venom in him. She'd shoot you, then kick you. Okay, but that I was think the lipstick was The made lipstick out of wasn't the poison. The nail polish was the poison. I thought they were used the same, same way. Mm-mm. Mm. Okay, I watch sure. this movie a lot. <laughs> I ain't got time for this. Anyway, my first point yes, is, what is it? every building mm. and car mm. would be mm. flame retardant. <laughs> 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 that is my first just point. Just keep it on the flame I retardant think list. It was, I didn't think of people at all. I mm. just thought of buildings and cars. But then I, I guess other objects could also be melted, like bus stops and traffic lights and so everything's just flame retarded? No, mine is still cars and buildings. Your world is flame retarded everything, which is smarter than mine. Mine will have a lot of abstract things going on. A lot of, a lot of oblongs. Be fun little world to look at and kind of sad in certain places. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's how things worked out in my world. How about you? My second point is that hunting is made easier. Hunting is made easier. Yes. What are we hunting? Like instead of going to the butcher and fish. having so that's what you're saying. No, oh, I'm sorry. Continue. Butcher is like cow. No, I mean you said hunting. I'm a hunting fish. Well, you can hunt a cow and deer too. How would that be made easier? Wouldn't the dragon just eat it? No. Okay, continue. they just go with their fire breath, and then it's and automatically cooked. Just cooked. I don't know about that. It's <laughs> like it's automatically burnt and dead. <laughs> I don't think I don't think burnt and cooked are the same thing. Like no one gets third degree burns and says I'm cooked, doctor. Mm, some people do. Okay, interesting. <laughs> They're a little weird. They're like, oh, I'm crispy. <laughs> yeah, you're odd. That's what you are. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So they just get cur- they get cooked. They, they get just- cooked. <laughs> I got cooked. I got cooked. <laughs> so pig, not pigs. But you said hunting. It's not like people have to hunt cows. Mm. What do you mean? <laughs> Like, no one's hiding in the bush for a cow. <laughs> no, no one's got camo for a cow. No, it's like, what do you hunt? Well, we hunt quail. How about you? Cows. <laughs> cows. Do you mean buffalo? Nope, cows. Nope, cow. Like the so, moo-moo. You know there's a farm, like, right there. You don't have to. Those I know. Very cows. That's my high hunt. That's my high ground hunting area. <laughs> it's like, that's Johnson's farm. You shouldn't be hunting there. <laughs> He's been complaining that someone's been stealing his cows. They're not even meat cows; they're dairy cows, guys. It's like you need to. You need, you to, need stop. to stop. <laughs> Start hunting deer. Go to something else. Nah, it's too difficult. Cows are the easy. Cows, cows just stay 
there. And people, gotta always, move. people eat burgers all the time, so why would why I? Why not? Why would I not hunt cows? That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy deer. <laughs> Who eats deer? <laughs> <laughs> I can just see this conversation going down, and like that guy's just like, okay, it's you're like, the stupid it's one like, for hunting something that runs it's away. Like, it's like, does McDonald's serve deer burgers? No, they serve. Do they serve quail burgers? Yeah, they serve or quail burgers. eggs? Yeah. No. Or quail tenders? Yeah. No, it's they chicken serve. and cow. Hamburgers. What's yeah. wrong with you? Which is stupid since it's beef. Anyway, yeah, I was about to say, why is it called hamburger? It's not a pig. It's not a you know, nope, a and it's not made from the ham hock, which is still part of a pig or the ham hammy hamstring. Where's the ham hock in a <laughs> back leg? <laughs> <laughs> I ham- thought about that. I'm I got like, this ham hock from a cow. I don't think that's. A I don't pig. think that works. Um, I'm calling it a hamburger, so <laughs> that's, that's what it's, it might as well be. Might as well be. Okay, my name is Mr. McDonald's. I can do it all. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, what is what was your second point? What my you, second point? Yes, your, hunting. Yes, hunting. Hunting yes, back to your hunting. Maybe not so much hunting. Maybe it's just like we don't need. No, no. Anymore. I like the hunting. I like the hunting hamburgers. That is hilarious. <laughs> you have to hunt cow. I want to meet the person who says I wouldn't hunt a cow. I like. I wouldn't. Hunt I don't a cow, think it's yes. a difficult task to. to it's like saying, so um, so you know, what do you hunt? I hunt rare species that are hard to catch, like what tortoises. I think. Those are pretty easy. Those to, are pretty easy. To yeah, catch. They, they move pretty slow. No, no, they're pretty hot. They're 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 quite shifty. Okay, quite shifty. Because you think it's a rock, and then bam, it's bam, not. <laughs> and vice versa. <laughs> vice versa. Has <laughs> someone catch you a rock, and you're like, come out of that shell. <laughs> Every time I think of like tortoises, I think <laughs> I think of the SpongeBob episode with uh, Patrick's rock. <laughs> And they were like, how did he win the race? And everyone's like, Patrick, that's just a rock. And he's like, no, it's not. This is definitely a snail. So, <laughs> yeah. That is so funny if that's true. So that I'm is just also thinking- the dumbest person in the world. And I feel bad <laughs> if for somehow your intelligence gave you the ability to find oh, this God. podcast and you've heard this insult. <laughs> but if you are out there hunting <laughs> tortoises and you confuse it with a rock. <laughs> or vice is, versa. That is hilarious. If you confused a rock with a tortoise. That is so funny. I but, feel uh, bad for you. <laughs> man, that's funny. Uh, okay, so what's Wait, your second no. Point? Before I move on, I have more questions. <laughs> okay. How does this help hunting easier i mean how does it make it easier so instead of having somebody to catch it and then somebody to cut it and then someone to cook it no sell it and then someone to cook it why not just cut out two of those people how do you know two of those people aren't one person it's probably just a factory that like kills it listen cuts it stop and then sells it in the store (laughs) they don't cook it in the store though you want to cook your own stuff, mm. usually. Mm. Actually, no, they might cook it in the store, depending on what it is. Yeah, that's true. Like chicken. They cook chicken in the store. Publix got you on lockdown. Yeah, they do. For those who don't know, Publix is a grocery store. Yeah, since and it's not have, everywhere. Um, cooked chicken. It's delicious. I don't think anything is everywhere, really. Walmart. I don't think Walmart's everywhere. Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is. Dollar Tree is everywhere. Yeah, it is. It's all the way over in California. Um, they have a version of it in Canada. It's a, is it in an Incan tribe somewhere? Is it is it somewhere in a in a non industrial place in a village? Do they have do a they have Dollar us Tree in there? the village? Maybe they do. Okay, they maybe might have a version a, of it. Maybe someone brought an iPod one day. Maybe they have a ninety nine cent store. That's different. That's, that's not a Dollar, Dollar Tree. Tree. No, because a Dollar Tree is a name <laughs> brand. Well, Dollar Tree up in Canada is a dollar twenty five. Then it's not a Dollar Tree. But that's in Canadian dollars. <laughs> then that's so different. No one's t- talking about Oh, my gosh. Okay, anyway, how do you make it easier other than all of the, those processes, which doesn't even happen, but go ahead. Is that it? The dragon just grabs a little the, no, the, the non movable. It's like, all right, go. And then it goes, and then it just like fireballs it, and then it's cooked, and then it's like, and then you just I wish cut I could remember the name of that it. dragon Pokemon. <laughs> I wanted to yell it out. Goldie. No. No. Dragonair. No. Yeah. No. Charizard? That's one. That's what I was thinking of. The original. I'm thinking of the original one. Oh, Charmander. Char... Is that the baby one or the big yeah, one? Yeah, Charmander. What, which one? Charmander, Charizard. Chardino! <laughs> <laughs> I choose you! Dun, Charmander, dun, dun. Charmeleon, Charizard. There we go. That's what I was going on. I want the big one. Charizard. Yeah. The little one ain't going to help me out. <laughs> He'll just throw his tail at it. I want a giant He'll dragon. He'll throw his tail at it. Just like, burn. <laughs> <laughs> don't get shoot fire still, but it's not going to really I mean, it'll go, do much. It'll just be sitting there. Burn, baby, burn. As it just swings <laughs> its tail back and forth. The cat probably going to look at it like, what the heck you doing? <laughs> Why are you hunting cows? <laughs> Shh. I'm recording the thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, shh, I gotta record this thing. Hey guys, so I know what you're thinking. I love the show, but how can I convey how much I adore it? That's easy. Just head over to patreon.com slash real and real pod. That's R-E-E-L-I-N-R-E-A-L-P-O-D. You can donate a dollar to show your support. You'll get some cool stuff in return. It's a thank you from us. You even get a shout out on the show. But what if you don't have an extra dollar? And what if you don't love us enough to steal from your great grandma while she's sleeping? Well, you can go to iTunes and give us a rating. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, or just tell all of your neighbors, friends, enemies, and that one weird guy down the street about the show. We appreciate any support. If you're a company that wants us to advertise your product, you can contact us at realandrealpod at gmail.com. Okay, that's it. Enjoy the rest of the show. Anyway, my What's second your second point? point? <laughs> Uh, we'd all live in the mountains so our dragons could sleep in the caves. Yep. Yepity yep. Um. Yep, yepity yep. Um. Yep, yep. <laughs> Sleeping in the mountains. You know those, you never seen those pictures where they have houses built within the mountains? Okay. Yeah, we don't want... Dragons in our cities and neighborhoods smacking down stuff and swinging their tails smack, all around. Smack. Come on, we've seen the collateral damage that Clifford has caused. We don't need that <laughs> with our the dragons. Lightning. So, <laughs> yeah. So there you go. <laughs> Simple as that. And the Howards had to leave their home, which they didn't even explain. <laughs> I think that, honestly, honestly, I think the background behind Clifford is that the Howards destroyed the apartment complex. Because <laughs> apparently, left. I assume he grew overnight. Because if he didn't, then the land of the Lord is a stupid person. Because uh, <laughs> why you saw him get bigger, kick him out. But no, so he grew overnight, slammed through people's buildings. Which I assume he killed a couple people. And then they had to leave because they were like, Well, it was a house. It wasn't an apartment. It was an apartment complex. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, you're right. Yes. The song just says they had to leave their home. It's an apartment complex. That's though. true. Because his right. head was out one side of the apartment complex, his tail was out another. So, so oh I was gosh. like, so they had to split that building. And ain't nobody like, oh, it's okay, Clifford. No, you better come pay for these damages. They're like, we gotta go, we gotta go. Right. <laughs> so in the middle of the night, they just up and left. They up and left. They they broke him out and they got on the boat and they left. So if anybody comes looking for them, like some lawyers, so like, oh, we gotta go again. We gotta Clifford. This. I don't. Know. I don't think any of their names are real. I don't think. Uh, come on, what's their name? Uh, Emily, Emily Elizabeth. Emily Elizabeth. That's a real fake name right there. I know someone named Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> She's faking. <laughs> that ain't her real name. That's a name that when you're on the run. <laughs> Emily <laughs> Elizabeth. That ain't real. That ain't real. Oh my God. Don't trust them. You ever notice you never see where the parents work? Don't show them. Oh my gosh, you're right. <laughs> show everybody Most else. kids' shows don't. Yes, they do. Never yep, mind. I'm going to take they that show back. Their job. Take that back. Yep. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they got a li- nice, luscious little area, okay, with a big dog, uh, little little house thing. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. But that's my that's my thought process on that. But anyway, yeah, we're living in <laughs> caves. I mean, we don't work there. We just live like our houses are there. So and we have to trek up the mountain to go to bed. What are you talking about? No, we have uh, we'd have a train that spirals up the mountain and drops oh, you off. I'm like the trains then, don't go straight up. Uh, actually, they probably could, like a roller coaster. You could make a train. No, no, go straight I up. hate that. Well, I you won't get coasters. a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get a dragon. What are you talking about? It'll go people. slow. It's not It's not for fun and for enjoyment. <laughs> it's a slow-moving process. I'll get a dragon. I hate roller coasters. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but yeah, we live in the mountains <laughs> where our, our basically our our dog houses for our, our, our dragon dragons homes. is like next to us with a little cave hole. But we have well-built houses there. They're just in the caves. Oh, okay. There you go. Simple as that. And you know what? Less break-ins. Are there? I put my dragon in front of my house. <laughs> <laughs> you sleep here tonight. And if anybody comes, they'll feel you and you'll feel them. And then just swing like a mad person. And kill Unless them. you're toothless and do some weird little fancy dance. That won't scare them. They'll exactly. Like, throw you food. That's not good. I want my, my dragon. <laughs> Actually, the dragons in my mind are the regular dragons, not these small little baby things mm. in the movie. I mean, the actual big giant dragons. Like Zuko's dragon from Avatar The Last Airbender. I didn't the see The Legend this. of Korra. I haven't got that far. Oh, my goodness. But anyway, uh, where were we? Yes, that's my second point. So what is your last point? My last point is that if everyone had a pet dragon, that we would have dragon training schools. 
so how to train our dragons. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was like, this is such a terrible You're point. You're stealing it from the movie, <laughs> basically. Yeah, we'd have dragon training schools. Except in How to Train Your Dragon, their schools were how to kill dragons. So, not no, at they, first, in the first one. Were they schools, though? It was a school where they trained against dragons. So, how do you survive and how do you get rid of them? Yeah. That was the first movie. And then Hiccup was like, no, we can be their friends. And then. What? Well, I don't think like, he was like, no, we can be their friends. Yeah. I think he was more like, Dad, there has to be a different way. Basically. And also he got stuck and <laughs> gained a friend. So yeah. it'd be different, which I don't understand how he'd have that mentality of we don't have to hunt them or attack them or whatever. If you were grown a certain way, I mean, raised a certain, grown a certain way. If you were raised a certain way, your mentality would be that dragons are evil. And then all your interactions with them would be evil until you got trapped with that one and then your mentality would be like, oh, maybe this one's nice. <laughs> maybe you're the one. <laughs> that's maybe different. you're the one nice one. Mm-hmm. Do you think Hiccup, I've heard somebody, uh, people argue this. Do you think a Hiccup is a dog or a cat? Based off of the way it acts. Do you mean Hiccup or Toothless? Toothless. Also a Hiccup. <laughs> no, I mean Toothless. <laughs> um, I say Toothless is a dog. That's what I thought. Because... Cats, they're cute, and they do some of the same movements and things like that, but at the same time... Things like don't... what? Because no one can see what you just did. No, like I didn't, I didn't do anything that was in response to the things like that. Then what is things like that? Okay, mean? so some of the characteristics that Toothless has do remind me of a cat, like with the whole, I'm going to pounce on it, and I'm going to play around with this little thing. Like, what was it, the fish or Dogs something pounce. like that? Yes, dogs do pounce. Or and because it's a fish, you say cats pounce fish. No, 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 no. Like they play around and bat things. Like ah, that's yes. cats. Uh-huh. Whereas dogs do the same thing. How do I know this? Because I was woken up at two in the morning by my dog who found a way to break out, get her toy, and then go ballistic with it. Anyway. Yes. So. Huh. And then on top of that, like dogs and cats both have an aversion to things. Like cats don't like apparently cucumbers. So, <laughs> <laughs> you've seen all those videos, if right? If you have not watched this, go to YouTube. <laughs> Look type up cats, in and cucumbers. cats and cucumbers. It is the best, incredible, and some of it looks like it defies gravity because some of it them really just does. fly in the air. <laughs> I also think he's a dog. But uh, moving on to my last point. Yes. So there's dragon training schools. Your last point. No more planes. Simple as that. Everyone will fly in the dragons. What if there's those little baby dragons that can't fly? Then you, or hold people. Well, you'd have a giant dragon that would move a, mo- a mass amount of people. Going to school, just hop on your dragon. There you go. <laughs> Take your dragon to school. <laughs> we got a dragon school bus. Oh, gosh. It's the hop dragon, on the school, dragon bus. school bus. It's the dragon school bus. It's the dragon school bus. What? Is there still a Miss Frizzle? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or does Hiccup take over? Hiccup will take over. This is my thing, Miss <laughs> Frizzle. <laughs> <laughs> you have buses, I have dragons. <laughs> Stay in but your now lane. I have no job. <laughs> um, but anyway, uh, those are our the points. Crazy teacher. <laughs> Let's run down them real quick. Let's run down them real quick. My real three quick, points quick, are: fire is hardened things, hunting made easier, and dragon training schools. What are your three points, real quick? Let's go. Building in cars, flame retard. Living in mountains, no more planes. Yeah, planes and automobiles. Yeah. So, Marcy, where the people go see this movie or not? What movie do you suggest they go see in their free time? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so my movie suggestion is 13 going on 30. A girl who's sick of the social structures of junior high is transformed into a grown-up overnight. In this feel-good fairy tale, teenager Jenna wants a boyfriend, and when she's unable to find one, she fantasizes about being a well-adjusted adult. Suddenly, her secret desire becomes a reality, and she is transformed into a 30-year-old. But adulthood, with its own set of male-female challenges, isn't as easy as it looks. This movie stars Jennifer Garner, Mark Ruffalo... For a second, I was like... Judy Greer. Mark Ruffalo. But yes, the Hulk yes. is in there. Judy Greer and a whole bunch more people. I love this movie. It is such a cute movie. Very it, cute. It is so cute. Can I, I just... A shout out uh, to somebody? Andy Serkis. That was my next one. He's the best. Yes. He plays Caesar, if y'all don't know, in Planet of the Apes. And also Gollum in um, Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Yep, he's awesome. Special shout out to you, Andy Serkis. Serkis? Circus. Circus. Like yes. a circus. Circus. S E R K. Andy Cirque. Circus. The Cirque. Cirque de Soleil. Circus. That's a good movie. I, I agree. That movie is fun. 
All right. So what is your movie suggestion if they do not go see this movie? My movie suggestion is the movie End of Watch. Longtime LAPD partners and friends, Brian Taylor and Mike Zavala, patrol one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in Los Angeles. Though they may bend the rules, their honor and dedication to the job are unquestioned. Taylor and Zavala always have each other's back, even if Taylor's superstitious filming of their daily activities for a college course is a bit ill-advised. All hell breaks loose for the officers when they run afoul of a vicious Mexican cartel! Um... I hate found footage movies. This is done in that similar style. Wasn't Chronicle also done in that way? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I forgot about that one. So I'm going to say, I was going to say two, but now I'm going to say three. There are only three good found footage movies. (laughs) End of Watch, Chronicle, Project X. Those are the only three. Okay. All the other ones suck. (laughs) You can keep them. And maybe people might say the first paranormal movie. Para, para, paranormal. Yeah. Para. What's it called? Paranormal, Paranormal Activity. Yeah, maybe that one. I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't care. <laughs> but yeah, those are the best. MIT. Th- those are the best three, okay? So, but yeah, this movie, End of Watch, is, is awesome. You should, you should watch it. But uh, yeah, that, that's my Saul Josh Strong. So, Marcy, where can people find you online? You can find me online at Marcy underscore 119 on Instagram. You can also find me on Twitter at Marcy underscore 119. Come say hey. I'm nice. Where can we find you, David? You can find me on Instagram at David underscore poems. You can find me on Twitter at a Clark Kent type. Shout out to the stash. Whoop, whoop. Thank you for all our listeners. As always, shout out to Kit. The Brit. What? Our very first patron. We appreciate you so appreciate much. You. Thank you for all our other patrons. Uh, please, if you haven't become a patron, go do that. It helps Check out the it show. Out. We really appreciate it. And we really need it to help the show keep going. Really, you guys literally pay for the show to be online so it can stay there. Yes. Um, we appreciate it. And, and you get so many cool things in response. Oh, uh, so many back. fun like, things. And there's so many things coming. So, I mean. So many fun check things. Check it out, guys. Check, check, check it out. And uh, I had a teacher that used to say that. Check, check, check it out. <laughs> Here's the multiplication. <laughs> like, oh, was that your math teacher? Yep. Check, check, check it out. Here is the... the, the, <laughs> I just, the only thing I loved about him was that when he called on one girl, I think her name was Tiffany... Haddish. No. <laughs> she was not in my class. She was much older than me. Uh, VJ, I think. But he goes, like, Tiffany VJ! <laughs> <laughs> check, check, check it out. So... <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. That's a callback to teachers from earlier. Thanks. But anyway, uh, <laughs> thanks to all our listeners, y'all. You guys are the greatest. Share us with others. Share the wealth. Share everything. Get and a tattoo. As always, of us. have a great day. Bye. Bye. Bye.